pop. Trying not to pop. Trying not to pop. Oh, what's up, fourth and fifth graders? Welcome to Parkview Kids Online. Speaking of trying not to pop, all this month we will be learning about self-control. Trying not to pop. Here's what we're saying self-control is. Self-control is choosing to do what you should even when you don't want to. So what I think we should do fourth and fifth grade, let's all stand up and worship God together. Let's do it. Whenever I'm in need and I'm looking for help, God, you're always there for me. Wherever you lead me, I can follow you. God, you're always there for me. Oh, God, you're always there for me. Help me believe you know what's best for me. I feel it in my soul when you are in control. I got one life to live and I want to live it your way. Oh, yeah. I do what I should do when you help me choose. I got one life to live and I want to live it your way. Oh, yeah. I got one life to live and I want to live it your way. Oh, yeah. I'm lost and I don't know where to turn God, you're always there for me Wherever I go, you're always by my side God, you're always there for me Oh God, you're always there for me So help me believe you know what's best for me to be more like you because your way is the best way i feel it in my soul when you are in control i got one life to live and i want to live it your way oh yeah i do what i should do when you help me choose i got one life to live and i want to live it your Whoa. way oh yeah i feel it in my soul when you are I got one life to live and I want to live it your one way to Oh live yeah. It, yeah, I do what I should do When you help me choose I got one life to live and I want to live it your way Oh yeah I got one life to live and I want to live it your way Oh yeah Alright, what do I want? Uh, oh, that's okay that's nice. That's old. I to remember to throw that out. What? Ooh, that's nasty! Who put this in here? That's tasty. Yummy for my tummy. Welcome to the So and So Show. Welcome to the So and So Show. I'm Brandon. Uh, I'm John. And we are glad that you are hanging out with us today. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Oh, uh, haven't we all learned our lesson from playing with that universal remote? Hi, Santos Cielos. Por qué estoy hablando en español? The words on the screen are not what I'm saying. Look, can you see how that's different? Oh, buddy. I think you rule. Ah! Oh. No, 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 no. I'm not trying to do anything crazy. I'm just... <laughs> What's this gib button? What? Where this? There's this G-I-B-B -B button. I've never seen it on a remote before. No idea. Before. Can you please put the remote control down? Uh, uh, please put it down. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Let us... Sorry. It's all right. <laughs> Today's show, 
is all about our words and how we should choose them carefully. John! Ooh. Yub! Yub, yub, yeah, yeah. Zippy la la wee wah. Uh, zup, chup, lap, lap, flub, blub, blub. Go, Link! Shub, sub, jib, shinkle, shockle. Shaka, laka, zip, zub. Uh, a brin, brin, san, san. Chinkle, uh, chinkle, drim, drum. Oh. Lapple, wapple, wenny, penny. Oh, kinkle, winkle. Uh, uh, Jimmy, wimmy, limmy, libby, mabby. Uh, ah. Wub, wub, loopy, zoo, zoo. Krieg, single, single, can, can. Mapple, mapple, mean, <laughs> Jane. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh-huh. Zoop Lulu. Zippy Loo Woo. <sighs> Scoop Plop Loo Loo Loo. Low, 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 zoop, zoop. Chipple, chipple, crug, rug. <sighs> Scans, jibble, wibble, dime, care, bapple. Wobble dobble. Nab nab Jim Juper. Clean sling gib jobber. Jude jot slan rankles pan doot. Sly. Croon. Huh. Peppy slappy. Well, oh, you're, you're speaking, speaking normal. normal. Ah, oh, we can we can understand. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, and you need to put this away. Yes, I good. do. Thank you. You know, you should never push the jib button. I didn't realize it would make us speak gibberish. What did you think it did? It made us sound like Barry Gibb. <laughs> What you got for us, Kellen? Today's Bible story is all about our words and the power they have. Cool. Yeah. And I was going to tell it with a video game. Are you guys in? We're, We're in. in. Perfect. The game is called The Power of Words. Sounds fun. Yeah. In Proverbs 12, verse 18, King Solomon wrote, The words of thoughtless people cut like swords, but the tongue of wise people brings healing. Our words are so powerful. So when we're careless and we don't think about what we're going to say, they can cause major damage. But if we're thoughtful and select our words wisely, they can do amazing things. So our mission is to find people and then choose to say a thoughtful word? That's it. On it. Oh, oh, oh there's a doorway. Go over there. Go over there. Oh, right okay, there, right go, there. There's go, a door. Go on, go on. Oh, okay, okay. I wonder what this weird old gray beard has to say. <laughs> Are you here to make fun of me too and call me weird old gray beard like other people do? Whoops. Ah. Uh, I'm only 20 and I have a long gray beard. That doesn't make me weird or old. I, I, but I, I didn't mean to. I, 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 was, look, I think we're supposed to choose our words carefully now. Oh, so okay. well, what do we say? I don't know. Probably what you would want to hear if you were that person. Ah, ah. I'm sorry. People call me names sometimes too. It doesn't feel great. It's nice to know someone understands. Yeah. We did it! Well done! Sometimes the most thoughtful thing you can say to someone is, I'm sorry, or I understand where you're coming from. Keep going. Take the top path. Top the, path. the top path. The top path. I'm going the, I'm take that top path. I am, I am. Oh, okay. I'll go talk to that guy over there. I, that would guy you right please there. let me do this? Yeah. Hello, I'm Uno. Oh, I got this one. Move, you're blocking the stairs. Boo-hoo, no one ever wants to talk to me. They just want to go down the stairs. 
Oh no, Uno, Thought, come back! Thoughtful words, Brandon. Know, thoughtful I'm, words. I'm sorry, I was just, I wasn't thinking. It's okay. None of us are perfect with our words all the time, but we definitely should try and think before we speak. Why don't you guys try one more board? Okay. Oh, go down the stairs. Go down yeah. the stairs. There's I, stairs I know, right there. Obviously, I'm going. Okay. Hello, I'm Bananas. What do you want? <laughs> Maybe you'd better take this one. <laughs> um. Hello, Bananas. How is your day today? None of your business. Hey! Why, you little... Wait, wait, John. You never know what kind of day someone could be having. Let's think before we type. You're right. Uh, well, Bananas, I just wanted to tell you I think your name is really cool. Oh, that's so nice. I was having a bad day, but now I feel better. Here's a bag of gold! Uh, yeah! We did it! <laughs> Guys, that was so great. You used thoughtful words even when the person you were talking to wasn't very thoughtful. You were right. We don't know what kind of day other people are having. And sometimes our words can make a huge difference in someone's day and in someone's life. And sometimes our words get us free gold. I mean, I guess that's possible, but it probably shouldn't be your only reason for using kind words. Got it. Remember the verse, the words of thoughtless people cut like swords, but the tongue of wise people brings healing. Thanks, Kellen. Yeah, and thanks for the batteries. Zub, yub, yib, yib. Ah, I'm just kidding. I'll see you guys you. next time. <laughs> I think it's time to reveal the question. How can words make things better? Hmm. Uh, I think words can help explain things or help someone understand. Yeah, words can also tell someone how you feel or uh, tell them how they could help. You, you know, when we were stuck speaking gibberish earlier, all I wanted was to be understood. You know, it's amazing how many people just want to hear those simple words. I hear you. It's true. So many arguments and misunderstandings could be turned down a few notches if just a few thoughtful words were used. Yeah. Well, here's a thoughtful word for you, Brandon. Mm -hmm. Good show. Thank you, John. I hear you, and I understand where you're coming from. <gasps> and that's the So and So Show, everyone. It hits right there, right there in the heart. Aww. It feels good. Bop, stoop, bop, lee, bop. Come, 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 Fling! Blow, 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 all right, Parkview Kids, our Bible verse learning all about self-control is found in the book of 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. I want to read it to you. Here's what it says. God's power has given us everything we need to lead a godly life. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. Our bottom line for this week, Parkview Kids, is an important one, one that we should always remember. Are you ready? Our bottom line is this. Think before you speak. Easier said than done, right? But let's pray, Parkview Kids, and ask God to help us to think before we speak. Let's pray, Parkview Kids. God, I pray that you would help us to pause and to think before we speak. It's really easy, Lord, for us to just show anger or show a lack of self-control and just speak out when we have low self-control or we're angry or frustrated. I pray, Lord, that you would help us to think before we speak. Help us to show self-control. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, Parkview Kids. So to wrap up our time together, let's answer this question. How can words make things better? I love you guys. I'll see you next week. Bye.